direct from atomic centrifuge and the tube alloys rocket off direct up with theoretical physicists provided a method to head with uranium and larger quantities of and other physicists were doing before World War II and the early war years his method is known as the centrifuge method and had and then went on with the Marcus tube alloys rocket the precursors of the Manhattan rocket so invited to participate fully in both programs. <laughs> The Red refused to travel to America and to become part of the Manhattan rocket. However, he continued to reach out to other physicists, no matter their national or background. This stance caused problems when some politicians and the bureaucrats in both Britain and the United States assumed that he was too friendly with his Soviet counterparts because the Soviets were not invited by their allied partners to be part of the atomic reserve in the Manhattan Project during World War II. <laughs> The British tried to use direct to keep secrets from the Americans by abandoning his centrifuge method. However, direct refused to participate in the abandoned process, believing the other contributors of the centrifuge through all steals, auto risk, and loss funds should be given equal credit with this method to enrich uranium. This refusal would lead to the suspicion by the British government that direct was a Soviet sympathizer. <laughs> On Monday, the 6th of August, 1945, at 8.16 a.m. Japanese time, the world was forever changed. The United States, with the backing of her World War II allies, dropped a new weapon of mass destruction on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. This bomb harnessed many of the scientists involved in its creation for war flight point one during the 1920s and the 1930s and examined more closely the individuals involved in this arena. One of the greatest minds of the 20th century, Paul Hadrian Maurice Dirac, an English theoretical physicist, best exemplifies a scientific mind that failed to understand the political ramifications of the creation he himself had a hand in. <laughs> Falling down like a